China. Xi Jinping's effort to return to socialism for decades life in China had evolved around its homegrown version of let it rip capitalism. Despite being technically a communist country, the government had put its faith in trickle-down economics. Believing that allowing some people to become extremely rich would benefit all of society by dragging it out of the disastrous quagmire of Chairman Mao's cultural revolution as quickly as possible. To an extent it worked. A large middle class has emerged and people in virtually all strata of society now have better living standards as a result. 1. Wealth Disparity from the stagnation of the 1970s China has been thrust to the top of the pile, now challenging the United States for global economic dominance. 2. Crackdowns on daily life, under this banner. Targeting tax evasion by the wealthy makes more sense, as do moves to make education more equitable by banning private tutoring companies. The ongoing crackdown on the country's tech giants can also be seen as part of the plan. 3. At odds with his father's beliefs. To try to understand what has made Xi Jinping the leader he is today you have to take a look at his background. His father, Xi Zhongzhen, was a communist party war hero, known as a moderate, who was later purged and imprisoned in the Mao era. At the time Mr. Zai's mother was forced to denounce his father. After his father's official rehabilitation in 1978, he pushed for economic liberalization in Guangdong province and reportedly defended one of China's most progressive leaders Hu Yaobang. There are those here who see the whole process as a natural part of the country, growing up. In areas which had been unregulated there have needed to be regulations. If this is the case, then this period of shock tactic transition may be only a temporary state which will eventually calm down as new rules become clear. But it is by no means clear what the length or breadth of these moves will be. One thing that is certain is that any shift should be seen through the prism of Xi's common prosperity drive at a time when the party will not give up an inch of its power while implementing it and in china you can either get on board this truck or get run over by it